Okay, here we are back inside Matrix. Today we're going to go over the blend command. First, uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I hope you find the video uh, interesting and helpful. And if you do, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below. Much appreciate that. So we're going to go into our surface command, or our surface menu, and we're just going to grab a planar curve, and I'm just going to make a planar curve. And I'm going to select that planar curve, uh, ho click on my gumball there, and then hold down Alt, and then make a duplicate duplicate of it so that I have two of them and we'll give it some uh, surface so we can look at it. Okay so here we have uh, just two surfaces and we want to get a line. You can, of course these you could just do an arc curve and a, a, a two rail sweep to get a curve but here's a little bit different way. Sometimes you're not able to get those curves uh, on certain things so they're offset or whatever but this is a little bit different way so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this to yellow so it stands out pretty well uh, and I'm going to go to my blend and select it and then I'm going to select my first surface and then it will say select the second edge it has to be a surface it will not work on curves and then second curve okay and if you see what I did I select the top one at this side and I selected this one that's a no-no okay so you need to make sure you select pretty close to the same side so I'm going to select over here and then over here to this one now we have a decent curve let's do this one more time uh, I'm going to select my blend I'm going to select this curve on this side and then this one and it well that one really didn't not a good explanation this one on this side and then this one over here okay you can see it really jacks it up it doesn't know it puts the first point over here and the second point over here so th that's not good you always want to make sure you're selecting pretty close to the same area so I'll select there and I'll select there and now we have a decent uh, surface to work with alright so first let's look at our uh, control box there and the first thing we can do is we can manipulate a lot of things from here. First, we can go to position. It'll give us w uh, position one, a, a kind of a more straight angle. And if we push on position uh, number two as well, it'll just give us that flat surface. If we go to tangency, it'll give us a little uh, tangent uh, arc in that first curve, and then but not the second one. The second one's still in uh, position, right? So you can. Uh, curvature, G3, G4, it'll give you all different kinds. We're just going to keep it in uh, tangency and curvature for the most part on this video. And I'm also going to go ahead and click same height. So it'll just give the same height there. Uh, and you can manipulate it from here, the bottom one, uh, number two from the bottom, and number one from the top. You can also do the handles up here. Uh, I'm going to put it back kind of close together and then I'm going to hit the lock okay now the lock if I move it now they move all together so they're all locked in place so that's uh, something useful but you can always go in here and drag it out if you want to okay uh, I'm gonna un well I don't want to undo that uh, let's drag it back a little bit so it's pretty close all right there we go uh, and now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to click, hold down shift, and I'm going to click on one of the uh, balls there, or handles. Okay, and I'm going to take off uh, my finger from my shift key. And now you can see that they both move together. So you're able to move one side together. Again, that's uh, hold down shift, just click on one of them, you can let go, and then you, you're moving both of them at that point. Okay. Uh, in order to move all four, you have to keep that on lock, and then you can move all four. Okay. Uh, the next thing, let's see. Um, you can add a shape into it. So, uh, say I want a, a, a handle in the mids here. So you can uh, click on add, and then you can just find your mid there, and then go down to your mid round here. Yeah, there and lock on it and then just click off of it right click and it'll give you an extra handle that you can manipulate okay so let's move these back a little bit so we can get a good idea here I'll just do this there we go uh, and I'm going to lock lock is on so I'm going to move them back okay there 
All right, the next thing you can do is uh, you can actually angle these if you if you want to. Uh, what you can do is you can hit, uh, let's see, I think it's uh, Alt, hold, click Alt, hit one of the balls, and then now you can angle it over. So again, it's hit Alt, hold down Alt, click on it, and then drag it, and you can angle it over so it angles it on either side, even the, the one here, hold Alt, and you can angle it if you, if you want to, okay? So that's another thing that you can do. Again, hold, uh, uh, hit Alt, or hold down Alt, click on one of the handles, and you can angle. Hold, click, hold down Shift, and click on one of the balls, and they both, they all, in that handle area, they'll all move at the same time. So I'm holding down Shift, click on one of the balls, and now they both move at the same time, okay? Alright, uh, so we'll keep continuing on. Alright, so say I, I kind of like that, alright, uh, so I go ahead and hit uh, OK, alright. Uh, and I want to move it a little bit, so I, I move it. Oh no, okay, because history, record history was not on, okay. So let's, let's go back, let's delete that, uh, let's uh, get rid of these real quick. I'm going to turn on record history at this point. I'm going to grab a planar curve uh, and go to my top view here real quick. I'll put it on green and I'm going to drag one and click on that one and then I'll just go here click, grab my gumball hold down shift and make a uh, hold down alt and make a copy okay hold down alt and make a copy alright so I have them there and now we want to blend curves so let's blend curves with uh, record history on uh, get my first cur uh, service, uh, surface <laughs> surface uh, curve there and then my other one there and so now I have this again what did I do I clicked on one side and the other so we're going to cancel that out re-click it I'm going to switch it to yellow and click here oh almost did it and here okay so now I have a decent surface there I'm not going to go back through all this again, uh, but you can, you know, play around with that. Uh, but what I wanted to show is, okay, I like it, okay, so there, clicked off it, but I want to move my surface now, right? So I click on it and I move my surface, okay? It takes everything with it, right? Because it's uh, recorded both of them, because I rec uh, duplicated it from there, right? So let's click off that. And let's go ahead and get rid of that for right now. And I just want to break history. Okay, so now, now they're two individuals, right? They're two individuals. So let's go back to blend. I'm on yellow, okay. Uh, go to blend, select my surfaces again. And uh, let's drag them out a little just for video's sake. And I hit OK. Now what I can do is I can grab one of those and bring it up and it follows it will not break at the bottom there it'll continue to uh, keep its uh, surface area and if I even if I uh, made it longer it actually takes it along with it so it, you can move it uh, once you get that curve there you can um, manipulate it pretty much any way you want any size or anything like that so that's uh, that's pretty cool really because uh, I guess what I'm saying is you could get a surface here and then say you like that surface but you don't really want those you just want to use this piece as your surface and then you can actually just go back to blend and click there and click there and start manipulating even more so there's a lot of options here that you can really work with this tool uh, but let's go back okay let's zoom in here there's one one other thing I think oh a couple things really actually okay I'm gonna go back to my uh, planar curves again real quick I'll turn it to green and uh, this is kind of important so I'm going to uh, let's see hold hold down alt yes 
and make it okay so right now they're kind of joined together right so I'm just gonna go ahead and break history real quick all right now I'm going to draw a curve or a line just straight across here in yellow uh, hold down shift and draw it across okay I'm gonna hide this top one for for real quick second here and then I'm going to actually take this and I'm going to split it with my curve okay and hit enter and I'll just get rid of that curve delete so now I have two right so a lot of times you'll be working in with multiple surfaces together in order to make a closed watertight surface right so in this case you have to be a little careful okay there's a little uh, extra you have to think about uh, so let's go to our surface menu grab our blend and I'm gonna take this uh, surface here I'm gonna grab it from this end and I'm gonna grab it from that in there okay as you can see it only takes that one surface right okay so that's not good that's not what we want so we'll cancel out of that All right, so let's put on blend. We got this surface here. We want second surface. We want to chain edges here. Okay, it chained them, and then hit enter. And I picked it from the wrong side. Okay, so go again. First surface here. We want to chain edges here. I did it again. Okay, <laughs> not good. One more time. Here, chain edges. Here, enter. There we go. Okay sorry uh, that's good uh, practice right so there's that alright so you so if you have a surface that is in multiple pieces then you have to use the the chain surface command I guess is is what that is one more time uh, go to blend first surface we know is singular so uh, we're just going to go ahead there second one we know is uh, has uh, multiple surfaces so we're going to hit chain edges and it'll automatically take those and give us oh, I did it again uh, <laughs> learning myself I guess uh, uh, it'll automatically give us those now again if we don't click it we click here and we click here uh, select sur edges go here go here it'll only give us that one it but sometimes you might need that or might want it uh, so uh, be careful when you got multiple uh, surfaces together you want to make sure you have chain surfaces on okay so let's get rid of this real quick one last thing, uh, we'll go to our curves and we'll go to, uh, let's see, uh, freeform curve and we'll change it, oh it's on yellow, okay, so we'll just make a freeform curve out there and we'll just uh, make another one over here, okay. Uh, and okay, so we have two curves out there. Of course, blend surfaces will not work on curves. So if you go to click it, it's not going to do anything. So what we need to do is make a surface. Uh, so let's take this one and move it up a little. All right. So let's go to our solids. Let's uh, go to our curves. Extract our curve here. Hit enter and we'll just make it something like that and we'll do the same thing to this one hit enter and we'll make it something like that there okay we'll change those to yellow so it's easier to see or green rather and we'll keep well we want you on green buddy green and we'll switch back to yellow for the blend curve so we go to our surface menu we go to uh, blend curves or blend surfaces. This is all one surface. If you try to explode it, it would not explode. So it's a NURBS curve or NURBS surface. So we go there and there. Okay, I did not. <laughs> okay, is that one drilled in? <laughs> uh, click it from the same edge. There we go. Okay, so now we have a uh, surface there. And our history's on, right? So uh, let's go ahead and just. Uh, uh, let's make it a little bit bigger okay and we'll make that a little bit bigger and we'll hit okay alright so now if I go to m move this surface everything's going to update along with it 
even though it's you know enough I made it longer it would actually update it with it as well so I can pretty much drag it anywhere I want it and then uh, again you're trying to get maybe this kind of a surface in the center there you're just using these as guides you can uh, just go ahead and delete those and let's get rid of these curves here and you can go to uh, blend curve and select those curves to complete uh, your your design or whatever you're working on uh, but it's it's a pretty powerful tool really uh, and later we're going to uh, demonstrate it in a video so I just want to give a basics uh, of it right now so uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a like subscribe and a comment below uh, thanks for watching uh, good designing thank you very much